So we now come across the, the Wasonyiro River, which has a fairly good amount of water, good, good for everyone, good for the animals. Here are the wattled starlings once more, uh, without the breeding plumage.
and poor Oryx is left confused after all the others have left. He's very nervous, very, very nervous, and he hopes to run as well. Good morning, Mr. Sun Gross. Here we are. This is the guy who dips his chest in uh, water to carry the water back to his uh, young ones in the nest. So we now have our first uh, mammalian candidate, which is a beautiful reticulated giraffe standing in the distance. And uh, there we can have a closer look. It's a nice reticulated guy. Probably coming from the river, having had a drink. And uh, going back to the fields to forage. And there he goes. Yes, Mr. Giraffe, we are still here. But you need not worry. But then again, looking closer, I realize that uh, you are not a he, you are a she, a lady giraffe. I just noticed your lipstick. The eyelashes. And your shy, rather coyly way of uh, looking at us. I realize you keep your distance as far away from us as possible. You're waiting for us to go. But uh, we'll be here for the next year. So you better look for something else to do.
In the distance we can see Lolokwe standing out very well. Our second mammalian candidate is a, a family of pigs, Kenya Express. They were a bit nervous as we approached, but uh, now they find it okay. One is still very curious, walks away to the other side to his colleague, and uh, he's still not so sure about his safety. Okay, dear pigs, enjoy your breakfast. Showing what he's made of his nice blue chest. And yet another lovely stop on the ground, but a little bit far away. One of the most uh, beautiful birds in Africa, the Somali ostrich. One just came across the way and uh, we had no choice but uh, to make our documentation.
here is the letter writer, the secretary bird with his spouse, the two of them together. One, one of them is slightly behind a bush. So, as we move on, we come across very, very beautiful, gravy families alongside the uh, Grand Gazelles. Now, this is the true animal farm in uh, Shaba. is also making its appearance. Amazing collection of the gravies. This is one of their most popular places.
prospective candidate for marriage so probably those are all interested So having analyzed the situation further, we realized that uh, these are mostly females and when such a thing happens, the female that, that is mounting is the one that is in it, is the one that is ready to mate. So the question is, where are the guys?
Here is one of the socio waiver guys.
uh, despite living in uh, leopard infested areas they they can take care of themselves very well There comes the husband from behind. I think it's a couple.
So now we are finally able to come down to the river and have the best view possible. This is uh, just before the Shafa area. So as we look towards the river, this is upstream, water is coming down and uh, flowing to the right towards the Shafa area, Shafa swamp and the Shafa hills if we can call them that, in that direction. Okay, we have visitors coming to the river, across on the other side. Uh, a troop of baboons, maybe a small family coming for a drink.
we have uh, quite a number of elephant looks like one or two families and uh, a male hanging around and uh, what we suspect to be a big male an older male to the left of the picture and yet another male So this older male, perhaps, doesn't like our presence. He can hear us, of course, and uh, he's taken notice, looking in our direction. So maybe we can go down to him and uh, shake his trunk. So over here we have another family of elephants, mothers and their young ones.
A lone male grand gazelle with a broken horn, broken right horn. We, it's very likely that uh, he may have lost his fight, lost his harem, and now lives alone. And as we know, for the rest of his life. It's a kind of a unicorn. Over on the other side we have a family of uh, vulture and guinea fowls which are again playing hide and seek with us. But we see you. Very good morning and welcome back on safari. This is on uh, Saturday the 10th of February 2024 and uh, we've just come into the Shaba National Reserve and uh, 
alongside the landscape, early morning light. These are our next candidates. This guy is having his morning shower before venturing out of the house, in quotes. He needs to be smart. Good morning, Gravy family. So, mother and child take to their heels. Don't want to be anywhere near this monster. But the daddy keeps his cool. We have some Geranooks in our view, the early risers.
there is a kind of uh, rivalry going on between these two. So in this area we have a huge collection of swifts which uh, are rarely seen perched on trees. They seemingly never get tired and uh, it's rare to see them seated at a place like this. This is their break.
the white-headed buffalo weaver on his mission.
this is it. We are now entering the beloved Chaffa Swamp, just uh, to the uh, to the left of the mountains, and uh, this is the general picture of the extensive Chaffa. Yeah. 